Before I came to Morton, I found science quite boring because it was all what was in a textbook and you just had to learn it. All of the teachers are really enthusiastic and they make the lessons really exciting. They make it fun and they make it really active so we do things that instead of just sitting at a desk writing, we are going out and doing things involving ourselves in science. My chemistry teacher is in love with chemistry and the way he teaches is so fun. There's a lot of enthusiasm around school for science, but there's also lots of activities that the younger girls can get involved with. Physics is always considered to be a boy's subject, but here at Morton, since we're an all-girls school, we've been proving them wrong. Definitely need more women up there in the top scientific roles. I've done work experience in a hospital and seeing all the male consultants, and there's definitely room for females in there. I think we're seeing many more girls going on from here to do careers in science. Certainly the current take-up at A-level is huge because there are so many fascinating careers now. We are finding now that the girls want to do science for the pragmatic reason that there are careers out there, but also because science allows them to ask questions and it allows that research. So that's why we're looking for support in this exciting centenary project. The facility is just one building with labs of biology, chemistry and physics inside and it's a kind of off-white colour with some brown panelling and glazing as well. It's a bit of an eyesore if I'm going to be honest. We have great teaching at Morton and the interest of girls and we need to have a facility that reflects this. So the new science centre will have six laboratories as well as a very progressive medical science faculty. We have been running an enrichment medical programme and it's become so popular that we feel it deserves now to be its own faculty. The science centre is going to be the first building you're going to see as you drive into the school. It's going to be state of the art, it's going to look incredible. We're also going to have within the building a big atrium space, which would be an exhibition space, a lecture space. But we want to build on this extra lab, which will be where our medical faculty will be able to be housed. Now that's really going to be a focal point for Shropshire and the surrounding counties to bring in their students to use our facilities. The future will require people to go beyond what the syllabus offers and I think that we could establish ourselves with outstanding teachers and first-rate facilities, establish ourselves as perhaps the leading girls' school in the UK for the study of science. The school has made a very significant commitment to this science centre. We will build a science centre, but what we need is the support, the gifts, the donations to enable the more innovative medical science faculty. We're delivering the results now in the facilities we've got. So just think what we could do if we had these improved facilities. All I ask is that those who can help do, and we start now. I'm going to go to Oxford next year to study biological sciences. I want to study for a PhD in genetics and then conduct world-leading research from there. Well, I want to go on to become a chemical engineer and then one day I hope to be the CEO of um, BP. Donate some money to the science blog is what you could do. This place could be an absolute pinnacle of science. We've definitely got the teaching, we've got the enthusiasm. I just think we need the facilities to give us an extra boost.